Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Brad, and what we're gonna do in this video today is reseal this brush hog, specifically the front input shaft seal. We already have a video out there where I resealed one of my older brush hogs, but when I took that gearbox completely apart to change that seal, I noticed that there was a possibility of replacing that seal from the front side without disassembling the whole gearbox. So that's what we're gonna try and do today, so let's get started. So the, what we're doing is you see all this grease and oil here or this 90 weight oil and this seal right here is leaking. In the previous video, we pulled all of this off and then worked on it off the bench, but I think I can replace it while it's still on the brush hog. First thing I should do is remove this plug and remove some oil, but I don't have my pump. I've lost it, but I had a pump you could put in that hole and remove some of the gear oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drain pan up under here, but we're gonna get some oil that comes out underneath here if I can get that seal out. The first thing I gotta do is get this PTO shaft off. So we'll take a look at this shear bolt and we'll see that it actually has some, some ridges in it right here that are just from impact from brush hogging, but it's not close to breaking. It's definitely reusable, but that's what happens with a shear pin. Okay, on my last brush hog, there was a little retaining ring here, right here, but uh, this one has a groove for it, but there's no retaining ring, so that came right off. Okay, that came off way easier than the last one. Like I mentioned, there's a groove for a snap ring here, and it didn't have one, and I don't know why I bought this brush hog used, but I've wiped this oil off and the next step I'm gonna do is clean up this really good. This has a little bit of rust on this shaft and when I slip that new seal over top of that shaft, I don't wanna mess up the new seal. So I've just got a wire brush on a drill and I'm going to uh, clean that up. I can tell it's the original seal because I still see paint, yellow paint there. Yeah, that's pretty clean. For my next step, I'm gonna drill a couple holes in the old seal and then install just some wood screws and hopefully I can just pull that seal out. Well, hopefully that got caught on camera, but as soon as I did that, some gear oil started coming out of that hole. That seal pushed in when I pushed on it with a drill bit, so I'm hoping it comes out pretty easily. Now there is gonna be some 90 weight gear oil that comes out if this is successful. I'm gonna insert my screws in those holes. I'm gonna take some vice grips and just try and pull on that screw and see if the seal comes out. The seal popped right out. There's the old seal. I don't know why it's leaking, but it is. And you see a little bit of gear oil coming out. Now I wanna get all this real clean before I put the new seal in. Okay, that came out way easier than I thought. Actually, when I was drilling, it was pushing the seal in a little bit, but I put those two screws in there and pulled them out with the vice grips. Came out beautifully. Now I've got a new seal here. So we get these off Amazon. I think they're 10 bucks a piece or so. Don't quote me on that, but they're very cheap. And uh, I should be able to just take this, put a little bit of lube on the actual shaft that I cleaned up, and this should slide right on. I'll take a block of wood and a hammer and make sure that it's square all the way around, and this thing will be in. Just gonna put a little lube on that shaft there. And you saw me clean it up earlier, but I'm just making sure that that inner seal will slide right over that. And take this new seal, and this concave side or this hollow side will go to the inside so that this is what you see on the outside. And that's what I drilled through. I drilled through this metal part. It's this lip seal, this double lip seal that, that was leaking. So we'll put that over there, kind of wiggle it on. put it up against the ceiling surface there, and then take my block of wood and my hammer, and just kind of tap it in. I'm going all the way around so I don't pinch the seal in there. I believe it's in there. I'm gonna get a brass punch and just kind of hit it all the way around like I did there with the wood block just to make sure it's fully seated, but I think it's in there as far as it needs to go. I've got a brass punch, just a brass punch that I bought, probably from Amazon as well. I 
I can hear a sound difference when it's fully seated. The punch is starting to hit the frame instead of hit the seal. That's good enough. Is he going under the trailer? He's not moving very fast. No, he's not. He'll move faster than that grass. There he goes. Okay, I took this breather cap apart to show you what's in there, but what it has, is it has a little ball in there, and that ball goes in there first, and then it has a spring, and that spring goes in there, then it has a pressed on fitting cap, and you can see that the air hole is right there, and there's a little flat spot, so when this cap goes on, it has a little place for the air to escape, and when pressure builds up inside the gearbox, it'll push that ball up, compress that spring, and then air can escape through that hole right there. So I cleaned all that out, it all looks good. So I'm ready to put it back together and put it in. And just snaps on like that. You want this in pretty tight because I have actually lost one that got loose and came off. There you have it. Okay, folks, you saw that was a very easy fix with basic tools. For $10 and about 30 minutes of your time, you can reseal your own brush hog without having to take the gearbox apart. Hopefully this video helps you. If you would, click that like button at the bottom, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, y'all.